Which brings us to the crux of it. This battery is three times larger physically than this battery. However, it's actually six times bigger electrically. <laughs> Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. The cavalcade of bumfuckery. Bumblefuckery continues. We are looking at Makita lithium ion battery packs today. As you can see, we got the fuck yeah coffee maker. And this thing just chews through the batterias. Two cups of coffee and already down to one bar. Now, if in you done did join me before, you know that we already had a look at the DeWalt and the Red Lithium Milwaukee High Demand 9.0, both of which I fucked. So we're going to have a look at the Makita and Third Strike, you're out. Hopefully I don't mess this one up, but if I do, it's all in good fun. Now, before we get into the meat of her, we're going to discuss lithium ion batteries. There is a lot of confusion and frankly misinformation regarding what these can and cannot do. The problem of course is there are many, many battery chemistries out there, even though they fit in this lithium ion 18650 package and they all get branded the same. They are completely different chemistries and each chemistry is good at a different best. So in our case for the tool battery, we want relatively high discharge, so maybe 15 amps, but we also want as much milliamp hours in there as possible, what for selling more of the things. They are in competition after all. However, like for a laptop battery, you don't care about high current. You only care about how long it lasts, how many milliamp hours between charges. So those are mutually exclusive, and I'm going to explain that to you. Now, if you want high discharge, say 40 amps, maybe you're a Vape Nation douche flute modder. <coughs> and you want lots of angry pixies to heat up that e-juice so you can suck it into your body and yeah, not get cancer. You are going to need a specific chemistry for that and that chemistry precludes you from getting a lot of milliamp hours out of it. So, very high current means you get low milliamp hours, different chemistries. Conversely, if you want, like a laptop battery, you don't need very much to just charge five amps, and you want it to last a long time, you have a certain chemistry, you're not gonna be able to draw 40 amps from it. It's just not gonna do it. But what it will do, because it's a different chemistry, is hold more charge for you. So you get high milliamp hours, low discharge. Now under the impetus of requiring high power density and being able to discharge lots of pixies, I'm talking about electric cars, the chemistries of these have been evolving. And I hold in my hand here the best of both worlds at the moment. Many feel that way and it's arguable. 3,000 milliamp hours and will discharge 20 amps. It's rated for 20 amps. So extremely good balance between capacity and discharge. Now I requested from you, kind and noble viewers, to exercise the dogma surrounding these lithium ion batteries. And I got lots of information, lots of interesting information, coupled with a lot of more dogma. Just because I fucking say so type deal. Now, I got into some of the research that you guys sent me, and it was very, it's, it's in-depth, it's very interesting, and a lot of the aging slash failure modes of these batteries are due to high discharge and high charge. Which brings us to the crux of it. These bigger batteries, it's three times bigger than this smaller battery, but it's three times the cost, but it's six times better than the smaller battery. And I'm going to show you why. Because the tool needs to draw 15 amps. And these 18650s are series stuff to give us 20 volts. That means each one of these needs to output 15 amps. Which means that it has low capacity. It has low milliamp hours. Now this guy has five cells series stuff to get 20 volts. But then each one of those 20 volt banks is paralleled. So instead of needing 15 amps from one of these, we only need 5 amps from each bank. So 5 amps means that we can increase the capacity. So instead of having a 15 milliamp hour battery in here with 
high discharge rate, we can have a 3000 milliampere battery in here with low discharge rate. Physically, it's three times larger, but electrically, it's six times larger. Here the broad strokes, let's get into the short and curlies. This is polycarbonate, high end, that's a high end plastic impact resistance. That's what's sandwiched in bulletproof glass, expensive and nice high impact resistance. Polycarbonate top, polycarbonate bottom. And we can see we've got all kinds of balance ports here. That's to make sure that the cells take the same voltage and don't blow up. And then we have the two main here, positive and negative and the thermistor or the temperature monitoring one so if the battery gets too hot it'll shut down and the makitas come with a tamper anti-tamper little plug there that you got to drill out kind of a pain in the arse now here's the onboard battery controller board and this is really interesting there's a thick layer of conformal coating or maybe even you know some clear silicone but there's some interesting packages here that's just soft silicone and these are MOSFET devices, but they're packaged in thin, looks like aluminum casing. Very interesting. And then over here, these guys are stood off, looks like on sort of some sort of Teflon standoff here. And it's almost, it looks for all the world like a miniature, tiny uh, insulated gate bipolar transistor like you see in a VFD, a variable frequency driver some high voltage device of course the microcontroller and it doesn't say what i can't see if it's atmel or what and then the connectors themselves got something interesting going on looks like silver almost plating and it, there's some burn in at the back you see it's all burned there different surface finish you see you see here so that's nickel plated and i don't know what kind of plating would be on there almost looks like silver Somebody could uh, mention what they think it is. I appreciate it. Here we got a close, nice close look at that package. And then look at those two packages there that are stood off. Focus, you fuck! I gotta say, I am not gonna miss you, camera. And the actual prime mover, Samsung E25R. R2. We'll look this up and have a have a peek. So these are 2,500 milliamp hours. Good batteries apparently. A 20 amp discharge rate, but they're superseded by the R5 and been changed color to green. Now we've got little wires performing the balancing, and I was mistaken on the red lithium. This this has balancing, of course. I got thrown because they're ganged up. Those big plates on the side are all paralleled. So, of course, you don't need to balance a battery in parallel. You only need to balance the batteries that are in series because parallel, they seem to see the same voltage, of course. So, I hope you enjoyed this stroll down battery lane. And I have been learning a lot about these lithium ion batteries. There's, yeah, as I say, tons and tons of different chemistries, a lot going on there got to be engineered for that specific application there is no best lithium ion battery thanks for watching keep your dick in a vice all right you got me i know i i was avoiding this because there are a lot smarter guys on the inner tubes and believe me they'll tell you but for my money and it pains me to say because i have a love-hate relationship with these guys for my money the best battery going Best bang for your buck is the will fuck ye. That kind of pains me to say because I feel like they've been trading on their good name. Some of the tools I've like the past few drills that I bought from them just don't stand up, letting the smoke out and whatnot. This last one, check this out. Oh, it's working now. Oh. You know what I'm saying? And then this guy, I really like the grinder actually, this flexible grinder. I know I gotta take it apart, but the thing is I kinda grown attached to it. It's really fucking nice. 
So I might be too biased to take it apart now. And just to let the cat out of the bag, give you the full Monty. I also got the brushless Makita. We're going to uh, we're going to upgrade it after we take it apart. So yeah, fucking a boys. Uh, have a good night. Keep your dick in a voice.